Hello everyone. Guess what I'm over here doing? Double checking myself to make sure that we are on track to learn about all of the new updates in Cricut Design Space. We have already learned about Unite and Subtract and tonight we are learning about Intersect and you might be wondering why does she already have it checked off? We haven't learned about it yet. I have it checked off because I'm confident that by the end of this tutorial, you will have a good understanding of what the Intersect feature looks like and how to use it. Hello everyone and welcome to Cricut Team with Delanda. It's me again, Delanda. And thank you so much for joining me today. As you've already heard me say, we are learning all about Intersect. Now, one thing I promised you is that when Cricut Design Space started rolling out all of these updates, I would take it step by step and tonight is no different. I have been playing around with that Intersect feature and I'm gonna show you everything I know about it. One thing that I will tell you is that I had to come up with my own definition for that word. So the definition that I came up with is intersect as it relates to Cricut Design Space means that the top layer takes the shape of the bottom layer. And I really had to think about that. The top layer takes the shape of the bottom layer. So that means whatever two shapes I use, whatever I put on top is going to take the shape of whatever is on the bottom. I am going to make sure you understand that fully. I want you to keep that in the back of your mind as we get into Cricut Design Space. At the end of this tutorial, if you find this video helpful, please consider liking the video, subscribing to my channel, and turning on the bell for notifications because I do upload new content every single week. So without further ado, let's head on over into Cricut Design Space. I am in Cricut Design Space and I have typed my definition right here at the top of my screen and I'm going to leave it here for the duration of this tutorial. Now I am looking at the beta version 7.21.129. Let me show you some examples of how Intersect works. Okay, so let's look at, let me grab a shape. I will grab a heart and I will make it a little bit bigger. And I will also grab a, let's see, I'll grab a snowflake. Um, I was playing around with this before I actually pressed record. And I wanna show you a few things that I learned about this. Okay, so let's say I use this snowflake right here. I'm going to add it to the canvas. And I don't really have a reason for choosing that snowflake. Um, I just, it just caught my eye. Okay. So um, you'll notice that the view on my screen will continue to go up and down as I add images. I'll just keep bringing it up and down uh, just to make sure we can see everything. So right now the view on my screen is at 50%. Okay. So I'm going to change the color of this heart to red and I'll change the color of this snowflake to blue. Okay. And I am going to just put the snowflake on top of the heart and I am going to select both of these for now. And I'm going to duplicate this because I want to show you something. Okay, so now remember with the intersect option, the top layer takes the shape of the bottom layer. So right now I have this heart and this heart is on the bottom layer. I'm going to take this snowflake and I'm going to put this on the top layer. And right here, I'm going to just rename this. I'm just going to call this um, snowflake. I'll keep snowflake right there and I'll say top layer. Okay. And I'll have this heart and I will right click and rename this and I'll call this bottom layer. Okay. So once I put this snowflake on top of this heart, we know that the snowflake should take the shape of the heart because the top layer will take the shape of the bottom layer. So I'm going to select both of these. And I'm going to go over here to combine on the bottom right hand side of my screen. And I'm going to select the intersect option. And let's see what happens. Okay. So the snowflake took the shape of the heart 
and it changed to the color of the heart because the heart was red and of course before the snowflake was blue okay so it happened we see what happened now if you don't have the update on your computer yet like if your Cricut design space does not show you this option for a combined let me show you how to get there if you click these three lines where i'm hovering over here at the top left of my screen if i click these three lines and i go over to settings and then i switch from the live version over to the beta version it will change my Cricut Design Space. It will update it to the newest version. So if you don't have this yet, this is what you'll have to do. I'm not going to make any changes because I'm already in the beta version. I'm going to click done. Okay, so now we see what happened here. Now let's see it the opposite way. Let's put the snowflake on the bottom. So I'm going to arrange this snowflake to go to the bottom. So I'm going to send it to the back and I'm going to send this heart I'm going to arrange it and send it to the front. Okay, so I have this heart and I'm going to put it on top of this snowflake. Okay, so I have this heart and we are going to rename this heart to, let's click on rename and we'll call this top layer. Okay, and we have this snowflake and we are going to rename this and call this bottom layer. Okay. Hopefully this is not confusing you. I want to put this on top just like that. Okay. And I think I want to, I'll just keep it the same size. All right. And so I have a red layer on top and I have a blue layer on the bottom. I'm going to select both of these together and I'm going to go to combine. Let's see what happens. I'm going to click intersect. Okay. So remember the snowflake was on the bottom. So now my heart changed to the shape of the uh it's like the intersection between the snowflake and a heart and so the snowflake it changed to the blue color and it changed to is what's left over between the snowflake and the heart now let's see what happens if i undo this because i want you to see how this will really take the shape of this um snowflake so let me make this heart a little bit bigger I want you to really see how that happens because I don't feel like you got a really good chance to see that. Let me just completely cover up this snowflake so you can see how this heart will take the shape of that snowflake. Okay, so I'm going to cover this up, the heart and the snowflake. I'm going to go to combine and I'm going to go to intersect. Now, you see that heart change to a blue snowflake okay so that is how intersect works that's one of the ways that intersect works let's look at some of the other ways that it works so let's say for example i'll just leave these two right here let's say for example i grab um let's go over here and i will grab a cow okay i'm gonna just find a, a cow Okay, let's find, let's look at this cow right here. I'm going to add it to my canvas. You see my view went up to 100%. I'm going to bring it uh, down to 50%. Okay, and I want to duplicate this cow because we want to, you know, look at it multiple ways. Okay, and we're still looking at intersect and how the top layer takes the shape of the bottom layer. Okay, so let's just say, for example, I want to put some cow print on this cow okay so i'm going to go over here to images and i'm going to look for a cow print okay and let's say i'm going to use this one right here okay and my it, my view went up again i'm going to keep bringing it down to 50 percent okay and i'm going to duplicate this cow print because i need cow print for this cow and i also need cow print for this cow okay so let me bring it down some okay so i have my one cow right here i'm going to put this cow print on top and i have this cow right here it's acting a little bit weird i'm going to put this cow print on top let me change the color of this cow print to uh brown 
and I'll keep this cow. I don't know why this cow doesn't want to move, but I'll put this cow print right here on top and I'll change this cow print to, let's change this cow print to red. Okay. So for this first cow and this cow print, I'm going to select both. Uh oh. And let's see what happens when I click intersect. Okay. So I'm going to go to intersect and let's see what happens. So the top layer was the cow print. The bottom layer was the cow. The top layer changed to the shape of the bottom layer. So my cow print is now in the shape of a cow. Okay. So remember my cow print at first was red. Let me show you that again. Okay. So at first I had red cow print and I had this gray cow on the bottom. Let's change the color of this cow to green. Okay. So then I put this red cow print back on top. And if I select both the cow print and the cow, remember with intersect, the top layer takes the shape of the bottom layer. So this red cow print is going to change to a green cow. Okay. So let's look at that. I have my cow print and my cow selected. I'm going to choose combine and intersect. See? My red cow print changed to a green cow. Now let's see how that's different if I were to slice this, okay? Let's just look at it really quickly to see how that's different. So if I click slice, okay, I'm going to get, I'll be able to move this out. I'll have a cow print that's brown. I have a cow print that's gray. And then I have a whole cow that's a gray cow print. Okay, so slice is a little bit different, right? So I still have what looks pretty much just like this. And if I change this to green, this would basically be the same thing. Okay, so I kind of wanted you to see that. Now, let me undo all of that. Okay, so I have my green cow up there and I can really, I can delete this and I can delete this. Okay, so we see what intersect is doing. Now, let's see what happens when I use the intersect feature with... Um, Let's say I want to look at it with some sprinkles. Okay, so let's say I grab a, um, let's say I grab a star, okay? And I am going to move this star down and I'm going to make it bigger and I'm going to change the color of this star to purple, okay? And I am going to go over to images and I am going to look for sprinkles, Okay. And I see these sprinkles and I like them. All right. So my screen went up again. Let me just bring it back down to 50%. Okay. And so what I see over here when I look at my layers panel is that these sprinkles are in multiple layers and I really can't use them with the intersect feature with all of these layers. I really need this to be in one layer. And in order to do that, I'm going to have to either attach them or weld them. And I am going to choose to weld them. So I'm going to go over to combine. I'm going to go to weld. Okay. And I know that once I do that, all of my sprinkles will change to the same color. Now, because I don't want this to really be purple on purple, I am going to change the color of these sprinkles to, let's just change them to yellow for now. And I'll make them a little bit bigger so we can see what's going on. Okay. So what I'm going to do is put the sprinkles on top of the star. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Okay. And what do we know is going to happen? The sprinkles, these yellow sprinkles will turn into the shape of a purple star, right? So when I select the sprinkles and the star, the sprinkles are on the top. They are going to take the shape of whatever's on the bottom. So these sprinkles, let's see, I'm going to click combine and intersect. And they turned into a purple star. OK, so that is how that works. Hopefully you are understanding what's going on. Now, let's see what happens if I try to do anything with text. So let's just say I'm going to grab a text box. OK, I'm going to move it down here, make it bigger. I'm going to turn on my caps lock. I'm going to type my name, Yolanda. And let's say I want to use that, you know, impact font. 
And I like to use that one because it's just big and bold and you can really see it very well and you can see, you know, what's going on with it. Right. So <clears throat> if I were to use, let's just say I added an um, offset to my name. Right. And I can see that the offset right now is at 0 0.25. I can bring this down to, let's say, one, 0 0.153 and I can click apply. I can change the color of the offset to blue and I can change the top layer of my name to uh, let's change it to red. OK, so I see my name is in red and then it's blue. And on the background, if I select this, right, what's going to happen? The top layer is going to take the shape of the bottom layer. So that means my red layer is going, it should change to blue. I'm going to click intersect. Okay. So that's what happens when you're using text. Now, the last thing we want to look at, or the last thing that I want to show you is what happens if I try to use the intersect feature with an image or a picture okay so i'm going to um, just use one of the pictures that i've used previously so here's the picture of my daughters and i it's going to come in really big i'm sure and i'm going to bring the view down okay so here's that picture and i've used this picture with the word love on top so i will grab a text box and i will double click and i will type the word love okay and i will move this down and on top of this image and we will see if i can make the word love take the shape of the rectangle behind it basically right okay so let's see if i select both of these and i click combine i do not have the option to use intersect because it does not work with images at this point okay so if i wanted to use it i could not now let's see if i were to put the image on top of the word love so i'm going to take my image i'm going to arrange it and send it to the front i'm going to put it on top of the word love i'm going to select the image and the word love i'm going to go to combine and intersect and let's see what happens it just took the shape of the word love and there is no image okay so it didn't really do anything okay so that is what that looks like now let me see if i were to try to change this to a print then cut and let's see no it won't it won't do anything let's see yeah, it won't give me anything. OK, so nothing. It doesn't work with images at this point. So hopefully you have found this tutorial helpful. I have shown you the word intersect. I've given you a new definition for it. I've shown you what it does with you're working with shapes. I've shown you what it does when you're working with images. I've shown you what it does when you're working with a picture. And hopefully you have found this helpful. If you did, please consider liking the video, subscribing to my channel and turning on the bell for notifications because I do upload new content every single week. Thank you so much for joining me today. And thanks for watching. Bye.